If you haven't already downloaded Thin Manager version 14, there's no better time than the present. Thin Manager version 14 includes the all new web client endpoints that enable the web browser based user interface. This new user interface allows users to view and interact with their Thin Manager configuration presented through the preferred web browser or containerized based on their preference. Let's begin by enabling the endpoints. Within Thin Manager, open the server configuration wizard by navigating to the Thin Manager server section of the left side tree. Right click on the server and choose modify. Once the wizard appears, navigate all the way to the HTTPS server settings and simply check the box to enable web client endpoints. You can now click finish to close the server configuration wizard. Setting up the web browser user interface as a display client is really just like setting up other display clients. Let's begin using Microsoft Edge, Application Link, and Remote Desktop Services to present the UI to a terminal. Navigate to the left side tree and select Display Clients. From there, right click on the Remote Desktop Services Display Client group towards the top of the tree and choose Add Display Client. This will open the Display Client wizard. Start by giving your display client a name. We will name ours Web UI RDS. Using the next button, we move to the Remote Desktop Services and Workstation Options screen and select Application Link. We now want to choose our desired server to serve the application session. This is done from the Display Client Members screen. Now again, using the next button, navigate to the screen titled App Link. Here we want to enter or browse to the path of the browser we wish to use for our display client. In my case, I'm going to choose Microsoft Edge. On the command line, we want to enter any CLI commands for the application as well as the start page we want to open with. In this example that I pasted in, we are adding commands for kiosk mode to hide the task and menu bars, as well as the command to ignore SSL certificates so the browser doesn't give us a security warning each time a session is created with this internal resource. Then we add the IP and port and directory of the UI in double quotes. Lastly, click Finish. Now let's assign the new display client to a terminal. Click on the terminal section of the left side tree and double click the desired terminal to modify and open the terminal configuration wizard. Using the next button, navigate to the display client selection screen. I will remove the desktop display client that is there and I will add in the new web UI RDS display client we just created. Now I can click finish. I'll right click and restart the terminal. Once the terminal has restarted, we can shadow the terminal and you will see the web UI being presented using Edge and in kiosk mode. Now let's set up the web browser user interface using a container. This process is very similar to setting up a remote desktop services display client. Select the display client section on the left side tree. Right click on the container host group and select add display client. Again, we want to start by giving our display client a name. I'll use Web UI Container to help differentiate the two display clients we're creating. We can also leave the selection for container type as Chrome. Using the next button, we can navigate to the screen titled Select Container Host. This is where we can choose a configured container host or simply check the box to use the resources of the thin client to host our container. That's what I'm going to do. Again, clicking the next button, we can designate the amount of memory to use for the container. I'm going to leave it at one gig and click the next one more time. Now we can enter the URL path. For us, it is the IP port and directory of the web browser UI. And again, for the command line, we'll paste in the same options we used for the RDS display client. We can now click finish. Now, when we assign this display client to our terminal, we have one additional step. Open the terminal configuration wizard on the desired terminal from the left side tree as before. Using the next button, you want to check on the terminal mode selection screen that the box is checked to enable container hosting. Once that is done, navigate to the display client selection screen. We will remove the HMI display client and under container host, you will find our new display client to add to the terminal.
Now select Finish. Right-click on the terminal and restart the terminal. If you've not used the terminal before to host containers, you will need to do a full reboot to download the container module to the terminal. Now that the terminal is restarted, we can show the terminal to again see the web UI on screen, but this time presented using a container. We are now ready to scale and present visually wherever you need and configure within your Thin Manager environment. The web browser-based user interface is available using Thin Manager version 14 and up and can be downloaded today.